process of them gradually joining us let us really be aware of the spirit uniting our parish community let us pray O God, who bring light to your church, through the learning of the priest, St. Bede, mercifully grant that your servants may always be enlightened by his wisdom and helped by his merits. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Our psalm response. I will show God's salvation to the upright. I will show God's, God's salvation to the upright. Summon before me my people, who made covenant with me by sacrifice. The heavens proclaim his justice, for he, God's the judge. I will show God's, God's salvation, salvation to the upright. Listen, my people, I will speak. Israel, I will testify against you. For I am God, your God. I accuse you, lay the charge before you and find no fault with your sacrifices. Your offerings are always before me. I will show sure God God's salvation, salvation to the upright. Pay your sacrifice of thanksgiving to God and mm -hmm. render him your votive offerings. A sacrifice of thanksgiving honors me and I will show God's salvation to the upright. I will show God's, God's salvation to the upright. Jesus, 
we have left everything and followed you. Jesus said, I tell you solemnly, there is no one who has left house, brothers, sisters, father, children, or land for my sake and for the sake of the gospel, who will not be repaid a hundred times over, houses, brothers, sisters, mothers, children, and land, not without persecutions, now in this present time and in the world to come, eternal life. Many who are first will be last, and the last first. The Gospel of the Lord. Apologies to those who are with us via streaming. I simply neglected to switch the tablet on. So hopefully you've managed to join us now. Bede was born in the north of England near the monastery of Weimar. He joined the monastery, spent his life there or at Jarrow which was a phenomenal centre of learning in the very, very early days of the Saxon invasions of the country. He spoke Latin, he wrote and taught in Latin. He was an incredible scholar. He wrote commentaries on the scripture. He wrote the first history of the English-speaking peoples and he collected the lives of the saints. He's also the first known writer of English prose, though sadly these haven't survived. He was referred to as the light of the church by Saint Cuthbert. For someone who was first generation, second generation convert to Christianity from the pagan religions, his scholarship was absolutely phenomenal. And this was picking up from the scholarship of the Irish who came first or went, sorry, first of all to Iona and then from Iona to the north of England, especially to the what was then the huge kingdom of Northumbria. So just think of us today. First converts to Christianity, most of the people around us have got vague notions, very, very vague notions. But we need to reach out to them with the power of the word which was so important to Bede and to his further conversion of his Saxon community. And from the northeast the faith spread rapidly with all the missionary monks, primarily monks involved in it. Our own Chad and Seth, they were taught on Linda's farm and then continued the mission amongst the Saxons, always walking, so they could always look people in the face and tell them the good news, never, never riding on a horse, just a beautiful imagery of their simplicity. I fondly remember the chapel of St. Bede in Durham Cathedral. Please God, sooner than later, we'll be able to journey and enjoy such a profound history. So please, we honour him, we praise God for him in our Eucharist. You would honour him greatly by reading some scripture today, letting the light of the word of the Lord speak into your hearts, into the hearts of our community. So let's pray. Pray that Bede, the light of the church, will encourage us to read the word of light. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. I'm a nasty guy, aren't I? Lord, hear us. 
Let us pray for the people of the Northeast who celebrate Bede with great honour and reverence. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. Pray for those who are teachers of the Word of God, that they will inspire us all. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. Pray for those who are evangelizers in our own day, our own place, and also across the world. We recognize they do face persecution, as Jesus told us in the Gospel. May they be strengthened by the grace of the Spirit. Lord, hear us. Lord, us. In silence we offer our personal prayers. Lord, hear us. Lord, I'm sure that everyone has heard the news by now that the major towns that have large infections of the Indian variant, that they're being asked not to leave, and people are being asked not to go into those towns. So we again seem to be teetering on the brink of a further outbreak. So we pray that people will have common sense and respect the rules. We pray and give thanks for the vaccine which seems to be effective against this variant which is 50% more infectious. Lord, hear us. Lord, us. And for those that we have been asked to pray for, for Martin Wilde, Anne Farrell, Greg and June, Lillian Redekin, Helen Dundon, Lynn, Maureen and John Worthington. But for all the parish, all those we have great concerns for. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. And the intention of our Mass today is for the guests on Alpha 7, who are moving rapidly to the close of this present course, and many of our guests have been incredibly blessed by the love of the Father, the life of Jesus, and the grace of the Spirit. We ask you, good Lord, to hear and to grant our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. first reading encouraged us to offer ourselves generously to the Lord. This is what we do precisely at the presentation of the gifts and as I offer them from the altar of sacrifice. So let us open ourselves as the bread and the wine is offered on our behalf to give ourselves in a very free, generous way to the Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. Let it become for us the bread of life.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Amen. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. Praise the Lord in his name. May the sacrifice which we gladly present on this feast day of blessed deed be pleasing to you, O God, for taught by him, we too give ourselves entirely to you in praise, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and every word to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvellous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new, and offer us sure signs of your love, and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled, a great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread, we proclaim the death of the Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy 
to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Mark, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, for ever and ever. Amen. <coughs> Prompted by the Spirit, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. The body of Christ. Amen. blood of Christ. Perhaps, Sheila, Margaret and Chris, if you come first after I've communicated collect, okay?
Let us pray. Through Christ the Teacher, O Lord, instruct those you feed with Christ the Living Bread. And on the feast day of Blessed Bede, may they learn your truth and express it in works of charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. I'm sure you will have noticed the artwork on the side wall here. Um, it's thanks to our youth minister, Claire, who's kept in touch with the young people through various Zoom meetings and have started the artwork in the Zoom or during the Zoom meetings and then finished them off and dropped them off. So there's this work here and obviously work at St. Edward's too. Those of you with us online, once church is empty, I will show you the artwork too. So please pray for Claire, pray for her ministry with the young people. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Amen. go as promised oh and look it's the stewards as well <laughs> there you go stunning colors absolutely brilliant work from claire and the young people in faith in action thank you very much see you now <laughs>